Welcome back, guys. We're going to go over a quick lesson in some of smart program that we call Uncle Sam. It's a quick lesson on taxes. Um, so again, for most new traders, if we were to ask them, you have a taxable account, Robinhood, Webull, E-Trade account, and you have your IRA, hopefully your Roth IRA, which is the one you're supposed to trade, which is the one you're supposed to hold. Most people, you ask 100 people on the street, 99% would say you trade your taxable account and then you hold your retirement account because they just are given misinformation. Um, the one caveat we want to make sure you do this if you're a profitable trader. If you're a profitable trader, you want to hold your boring investments, the longer term stuff, the ETFs in that taxable account, and then you trade the retirement account. The reason for doing this is that you minimize your taxes. If you're trading your taxable account, say you make $10,000 in a given year, you're going to have a tax liability for the ten thousand dollars at the end of the year in your Robinhood in your regular taxable account. If you're trading in your Roth, you make ten thousand dollars. You have no taxable gain. There's something you have to pay on the end of the year. You can take those gains and reinvest them and keep growing that account and it can compound further and further. The reason why most people aren't aware of this is just how those names are titled. The accounts they think retirement, they think long term, they think trading account, they think to trade. Now, the reason why this is kind of hammered into most people is just how the industry is set up from a business standpoint. For myself as the advisor, it's more work for me to have you trade your retirement account than for me to invest it. For the average person, if you're investing your own retirement account versus me, I'm gonna probably make more money in it because I'm a professional in this space. So if I'm telling you that, you know, if I come to you and you're losing money as a trader or as an investor, and I'm a financial advisor, and I make my clients money, it's in my best interest to put you in a space to make you the most money, which is gonna be taking the money out of your hands and make it, taking decisions away from you and more onto myself. But if you are a trader who can make money, and this isn't just you telling anybody you make money, like you actually owed money at the end of the year on your tax return, you profitably traded, you would have more than likely made more in your retirement account and had to pay no taxes. So again, the main caveat with this is that you actually are a profitable trader. If you are, it's a very easy strategy to lower your taxable liability each and every single year. If you have any more questions about this, again, everyone's situation is different. You can always shoot me a message on GroupMe. We can dive into a little bit further. But just remember, in short, if you're profitable, try to hold longer term in the taxable account, put the more boring stuff, the ETFs, and then the retirement account. You want to be a little bit more risk on this the account you trade with if you're profitable. Hopefully this lesson helped, and now we can jump back into more of the reading in the semi-smart program. You guys have a good day.